Hi, this is part three of the Smart Notebook um, 11.4 tutorial. So now that we know how to bring in an object and manipulate it on the screen, now what we're going to do is we are going to use this function up here. Um, it is called the Screen Capture Toolbar. So you're going to go ahead and click on that. And you're going to see you get a floating toolbar. I absolutely love this feature and I use it a lot. Now, as you can see by going through the gallery when I did my search for a bird, there really aren't a lot of real images. Um, they're very much like cartoon images and really not appropriate, um, especially for um, students who are older at the middle school and high school level. So there may be images that you would rather capture from the internet and bring into your smart board presentation. And this is where you're going to use the screen capture toolbar. So you can see we have this floating toolbar. So what we're going to do is we are going to go out onto the web. I'm going to capture um, a background scene of some trees. And then I'm going to go ahead and bring in a bird and capture that and bring that in also. Now, before I do that, one thing that I want to make sure is that this right here, this box is not checked. Because if it is checked, it will capture and put it onto a new page. Every time it clips out an image from the internet, it puts it onto a new page. Then you have to copy and paste it back into the page that you really want it on. So um, I usually keep this unchecked. For my Mac users, what you would do, um, you have to click on Options. And then under Options, you will see Capture to New Page. And you just want to make sure that it is unchecked. So let's get started. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to minimize the Smart Notebook. And I'm going to go into Google. And once I'm in Google, I'm going to type in Trees. And I'm going to go to Images of Trees. And I'm just going to scroll down here and find an image that I like. Now what you'll notice is over here, I still have my floating toolbar, even though we minimize the Smart Notebook. So it follows you wherever you go. So I'm going to click here. And this looks like a good um, scene. So what I'm going to do is I want to capture this. And I want it to be a perfect square. So I'm going to click here. And you see I have a crosshair. And I'm going to click and drag over the image that I want and then release. You probably heard it take a camera shot. And you can see it put it right into Smart Notebook for me. Now, what's great about this is that I have it in Smart Notebook. And I want to use this as a background image. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to stretch it out so it covers the entire screen, or most of it, so that when I'm using it, it, it looks pretty good. Like that's pretty good. All right, so I spread it out. Now, if you're going to take the time to find images on the internet for a smart board um, lesson plan or presentation, um, you probably want to save these images. So what you're going to do is you are simply going to go into the gallery. And do you see where it says My Content? This is where you're going to store all of your images that you've collected from the internet. It will make your life so much easier if you make this a habit. So if I click on My Content, and I click on the drop down box and I say new folder. I'm just going to call this one birds. Okay. Now I have a folder called birds. Now, obviously, you know, as a teacher, maybe you don't want to have this type of labeling for your folders. Maybe you want math, science, social studies. It's up to you. But I selected birds, and what I'm going to do is simply click on my image. Oh, I have to uncheck this auto hide. 
Okay. Now I'm going to click and I'm going to drag. Now it doesn't really look like I'm dragging, but you can see the little plus next to my arrow. And I'm going to release it on top of the birds folder. And what you're going to see is right here in pictures, there is my background scene. Okay. So with that, I'm going to drag my scene again. And if you recall, because I don't want this image to move, I want it to lock in place. So I'm going to go over here from to my drop down box. This is again from part two of our lesson. And I'm going to go to lock in place. And now when the students come to the board, they can't move this image. And that's exactly what I want. So it's a custom background. Now, um, I could go and grab that picture of the bird, the cardinal, but I don't really want to do that. Um, let's go back into Google, and I'm going to just type in the word Robin. I'm going to click on images, and I'm going to find a picture of a robin that I like. This one's a good one. And now I want to capture this. But what I don't want is I don't want all of this background. So I only want to crop the bird. So to only crop the bird out of this image, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the free form um, screen capture tool. It's right here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to move my mouse over to the bird and I'm going to click and do not let go. I'm going to click and I'm going to trace the bird. And you're going to have to just be patient with yourself. Don't worry if it doesn't come out perfect. You can see mine is in no way perfect. But once it goes up against that background, you're not going to see those little imperfections. And now I'm done tracing it, and I'm going to release it. Perfect. And there's my bird. Now clearly the bird is way too big for this image, but I'm going to resize it. But before I do that, again, good habits, just click and drag the image of the bird into your folder under my content. You can see it right here. And now I am ready to resize my little robin here. And I could put him in a tree that's still a little too big. But I can do something like that. Or maybe I can have a little fun and have him sit on my bench. Okay? Now, other things you can do, I can make him just a little bit bigger. And he's standing over here. And if you recall, um, you could set the infinite cloner on him. So I'm going to go to infinite cloner. And I can now have more than one bird. Okay, or I can just simply get rid of the infinite cloner, make him just a tad smaller, and clone him. And now I've got two of them. So, you know, really, with the smart notebook software, now this is where you get let your imagination go wild. Um, it really, the possibilities are endless. Um, you know, it's just a matter of how creative you can get with your lesson um, because really the content is out there. You can bring it into your smart notebook. I use this particular feature all of the time. Now, let me explain the other two buttons. Um, this button, I, to be honest, I really don't use them that much because if I was to use this one, what it would do is it would take a screenshot of the entire screen. I would get my task bar down here, the title bar. I don't want any of that usually. And this one will just take a screenshot of what's ever in the window right here. Again, I don't frequently use these two buttons, um, but I usually use these features the most. Either I'm capturing an image, it's a perfect square, or using the free form. So 
you know, certainly play around with the screen capture toolbar. I know you are going to love it just as much as I do.